Hey everybody, Lou here, and uh, right now I'm going to uh, talk to you about something I normally wouldn't, you know, mention or talk about, and that's uh, what happens when you die, the afterlife, and beyond, like, you know, space and everything in between. This is a hard talk, because everyone's rude at different, uh, more so now than ever, uh, people lean more towards atheism, you know, not believing in religion. It's a direction I've thought about many times, but, um, I don't know, call it weak or a fantasy, I just can't accept the fact that once you're dead, that's it. I'm not a holy roller or nothing. Uh, trust me, I'm a historian, and I like facts. It's not all I care about, but it helps. But, you know, as I get older, um, you know what? It's good to have a little faith every now and then, or else you sound like a robot. Like, can you imagine if everyone thought and acted the same way? Life would just be very uneventful. It's like, uh, so if you die, nothing happens. Most people think like this. A good scientific way to approach death is, uh, you know, your dead body gets absorbed into the ground, worms eat it, and then their feces, uh, you, uh, get recycled and become trees and plants and, you know, all that uh, stuff. That's a very green way of thinking, but I don't think nobody wants to think about becoming fertilizer after they die. I don't know, that's just me. I think that's why we mourn our dead and have memorials. Um, on that note, um, I'd rather not be cremated. Call me old-fashioned. I'm just too uh, attached to my body, even though technically I won't be there when I'm dead. It's very Egyptian of me to pride myself into thinking that even in death, about my body still means something. Then again, th those are just my thoughts. Uh, everyone has their uh, different theories on this. But what about the afterlife? Um, people that practice, you know, the main religions, you know, uh, Judaism, Islam, Christianity, Buddhism, so on and so forth, um, you believe in some kind of afterlife. You know, uh, if you're good, um, your soul uh, goes right up to heaven to be judged by the Creator, or if you're evil, you go right to hell, or whatever interpretation of heaven or hell you believe in. If anything, uh, the positive aspects of having a belief system is, well, I'd hope it would make you a better person. Religion should be a guide, I think. Like a uh, lifeline to uh, live a better life and find peace. While still having free will and control over your destiny. Take, for example, the soul. If it is just a form of energy that exists, then who knows? Maybe we get recycled after we die. Our essence gets put through some cosmic machine and then evilly distributed through the galaxy to wherever we are needed at random. Maybe this would explain why some people have uh, deja vu or the feeling of a past life. It's possible, you know, maybe because we already lived the life that we just don't remember. Who knows? Maybe that's a side effect of, you know, getting recycled. I don't know. I could talk about this uh, all day, by the way, but uh, this video would be way too long. And, uh, you know, who's got the time to listen, right? I'm just trying to... Uh, get a small point across here to you guys and, you know, shed some light on some things, I think, anyway. It's just my uh, two cents, anyway. Personally, I've never seen a ghost. Or an alien, a UFO, whatever you want to call it. But I still believe. I don't think it's a uh, waste of time or anything. Because I think there is an afterlife. Just not the afterlife we all expect. Maybe instead of fire or, you know, pearly white gates... It's a doorway that leads to another life, like I said before. Ghost stories can be fabricated left and right, and Hollywood did a great job at showing us how fake it can be. But for those truly suffering through anguish from, you know, unexplained paranormal events, whether it be men mental issues or something we can't explain, who are we to take that experience away from them? As crazy as it sounds, if right now you experience something, you know, ghostly or out of the ordinary that happened to you, and you decide to tell a friend, I'm guessing they would probably think you're crazy. Even if they like really, really loved or cared about you, they would probably at some point think, y you might have snapped. And you would feel like an outcast. It's just, you know, how it goes. Another example, um, I've never seen an alien. But I do believe there's life out there aside from Earth. Why? Just look up in the sky right now, wherever you're at. Just look up, you know daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter. And just keep in mind that black mass of stars or the sun and beyond that is infinite. That means it goes on forever and ever and ever. There's no end. I'm sure there is, but 
even then, it'll keep going on because, you know, black holes and all that stuff that goes with that. So somewhere out there, whether it be highly intelligent or some microscopic organism, there, very, there could be very well a chance someone or something is looking back at you, just waiting for its time to shine. Whether or not that'll happen in our lifetime, we just don't know. Science also thrives uh, with hard facts. And if our planet went through uh, stages to get where we're at now, then why couldn't some far-off planet be going through or already at the same stage of life as we are today? Once again, I'm just an uh, open mind kind of guy. I know we all have, uh, you know, uh, different um, situations going on through our lives right now that keep us from thinking, um, you know, strange and abnormal theories like this out of the ordinary. And, you know, our life is super busy. Life doesn't stop. It just keeps going. And uh, it won't wait up for us. That's the sad reality. But we don't have to settle. In fact, we should embrace the strange, the weird, and unusual. Not to distract us, but to influence us to escape the sorrow and pain of the real world. And let it fuel our imaginations in hope of making us all a united and understanding race of individuals. Not just for us, but for our future generations to come. You see, guys, in this uh, dull political correct world, sometimes blending fantasy and reality is just the same as thinking outside the box. And that's okay. As always, thanks for listening. And if you want to add anything to this discussion, please comment below. Take care and talk to you all soon. Peace.